One man is now in custody in connection to the deadly beating outside of Pat's King of Steaks. Police have warrants out for two other suspects as well. Action News reporter George Solis is live outside the restaurant in South Philadelphia with the update. And George, you talked to family members of the victim today. Yeah, that's right, Sarah, and family members are understandably going through the motions. They are glad to see some progress in this case, but they know it will not bring their loved one back. Philadelphia police have obtained arrest warrants for two of four suspects wanted in connection with the brutal and fatal beating of a man outside iconic Pat's Kings of Steaks in South Philadelphia. Authorities said 34-year-old Osvaldo Willie Pedraza and 32-year-old Victor Pedraza are both wanted for murder and other related charges for the death of 28-year-old Isidro Cortez of Queens, New York. While the suspects share a last name, police have not said if the two men are related. Midday Monday, authorities said a third man, not yet identified, has turned himself into police. There have been a lot of tips called in. The public has been exceptionally responsive uh, in giving information, and so the investigation is going well. The violent brawl, which also included Cortez's father and friend, escalated reportedly after a Philadelphia Union soccer game last Thursday. Monday, word of the case developments made their way to Cortez's family in New York, who we spoke with by phone, including his cousin and uncle, who I translated for. It's just unjust and inhuman what they did. They have to pay. They took my cousin's life and in the most like inhuman way. And these people just they just need to get caught. Tanya Tempales said as the family awaits justice, they are in the midst of preparing for Isidro's funeral this week. She wants those that didn't know him to remember him as a career-driven man with a lot of love for family. She shared these photos with Action News of their graduation, birthdays, and most recently, his parents' wedding. He had so much, so much to look forward to. He had, he was going to school. He was working as an accountant. He loved soccer, which is the reason why he was out there. Yeah, and we stopped by the last known address for those suspects, but most neighbors did remain tight-lipped about them, and family tells me they are planning for a vigil tomorrow for Isidro. Information, reward for information rather, still stands at $20,000. In South Philadelphia, George Solis, Channel 6, Action News. Sarah? George, thank you.